Today I will show you how you can implement table calendar flutter package to create a fully customizable calendar in your flutter application. In the build method we will declare a table calendar widget and pass it to the body of the scaffold. Table calendar widget requires basically three properties which are first day, last day and focus day. For the first day we will assign day time dot time zone which is UTC here in this case and inside we will specify the date which means that our calendar will be started from this date. For the last day we will do the same and it means that this will be the last date of our calendar. For the focus day we will create a field and assign it to the date time dot now. After hard reloading here you can see that we have a table calendar here in our application. We can swipe through the months and also can change it from here. To make use of the table calendar package, make sure to go to your pubspec.ml file and here under the dependency we need to include the dependency called table calendar with the latest version number. After adding the dependency, don't forget to run flutter pub git command in the terminal to download the package. We can also select any date from the calendar. For that, first of all, we will create a select day of type date time. Now we will access selected day predicate property which is a bool function that decide whether the given day should be marked as selected or not. After that we will access on day selected property which is called whenever we tap on any day in the calendar. Therefore we will create on day selected function and pass its parameters. Inside we will check if today's date is not same as the selected date. Then we will assign the value of date that we have tapped to selected date and also assign the focus date to the focus date field. With this now we are able to select any date in our calendar. Next, we can also change the format of our calendar. For that, we will create a calendar format field and assign it to the calendar format. And here we can select any format that we want. For example, if I initially select month, now we will assign it to the calendar format property. And with this, you can see that we have our whole month displayed in our calendar. We can also change the format of our calendar dynamically. For that, we will create on format changed function and pass it to the on format change property of the table calendar widget. Here inside we will check if the calendar format is not equal to the current format of the calendar. Then we will set state the value of the current format to the calendar format. And with this here you can see that when we tap on the format button, our format changes relatively. We can also customize or hide the header of our calendar. To hide the header of the calendar, we can simply access the header visible property and mark it to false and with this our calendar header will be disappeared. To customize the header, we can use the header style property property which takes the header style widget. Here we can center our title using the title center property. We can also hide our format calendar button from our header using the formatted button visible. We can also customize the days of the week using days of week style property which takes the days of week style widget. Here inside we can specify the style of our weekdays using the weekdays style property which takes in the text style widget. We can also specify the style of our weekends using the weekend style property. Here we can also give style to our whole calendar using the calendar style property which takes the calendar style widget. We will use today decoration and here we will specify the color of today date. We can also give style to the selected date using the selected decoration property and here within the box decoration we will give it a custom green color. After hard reloading here you can see that we have customized our today date and selected date style. 